Hey y'all, welcome back to Blue Ridge Homestead. Today is just gonna kind of be a miscellaneous video. We're gonna put up the fence or the netting around the garden, which keeps the critters out, mainly rabbits that will decimate your garden at times. Um, we do have some chickens and sometimes they'll get out, try to get in. Um, we had a pretty nasty storm last night, so we may traipse around here and there and show you some of the the damage that we have. And we'll update you on the uh, onions and see how they're going and the potatoes. Uh, so what we use is, uh, it's like a, a netting, it's plastic or maybe it's a polymer coated fiberglass string. I use these little, uh, they're aluminum coated in some sort of rubber plastic. I use them to hold it up and it does really well. Um, we've been using this for about four or five years now. And I typically zip tie it on to the, to the post, but this year I decided I'm gonna use these little wires. They're a copper wire covered in a jacket. And so I'm gonna use those. And then this fall, instead of having to cut the zip tie, I'll just untie the wire and next year I'll reuse it. So I'm not out having to buy zip ties and I'm not wasting and further adding to trash such as this from last year in the garden. So we'll pick it up and get it out of here these wires I uh, harvested, so to speak, out of a old uh, stereo. So they didn't cost me nothing. And uh, these posts are, when we got them, they were like three bucks a piece. This netting is actually doubled. It will fold up. So it's only three and a half foot tall here. You fold it all the way up and it'll be seven foot tall. So if you've got some major critter problems, you can uh, should be able to keep them out like that. So we typically, you're just taking the little short piece of wire, put a little bend in it. You're gonna stick it through both sides, through around the post, and then you're gonna come through the other side. And then you take the two ends. Yep, we're gonna start over with that one. So you bend it, stick it through, come back to the other side, pull them through so you have both sides on here, on your side, and then you just twist them together like this, and I take the ends and bend them back. And it's it's on there, it's there, and like I said, I could reuse these next year. So uh, y'all hang with us, and uh, we'll catch up with you when we're on the other side of the garden. We got here is a neighbor gate. So we're just attaching this to the neighbor gate. We do have an electric wire that goes through here. So we're just trying to get it behind it, but down on the ground enough to keep rabbits from coming over here. So far, so good. We've managed to fill that corner in. This side here, we don't need nothing, obviously, because we got fence. So we just keep continuing on down that way. So far, it's working out pretty good. We'll uh, catch back up with you here in a minute. So we've got all the way around with the fence or the netting. This is an old pallet we picked up, and this is the spot where we've allowed ourselves to be able to get in and out with wheelbarrow and stuff like that. So this is just a simple um, gate idea. 
I'm sure other people do it. It's something that I just kind of thought of one day and uh, been working out good for me on other projects. So I just cut an old sassarus or find one that's fell down and used a hole from it. Set your gate right where you want your pallet. You drive it in the ground. inside the garden and show you some progress of our onions and our potatoes. These are raised beds here that we're going to plant carrots in. All right now they're just filled up with some straw and leaves, compost, stuff like that. So here's progress on the onions. Like I said we had a storm come through last night with some pretty high winds so it's knocked a few of these over. We will just prune those off, toss them out. But they are, they're really taking off. They're, as you can see that they've taken root. They're starting to grow new shoots. So that's a good sign that they are growing, taking root such as that. So some of these back here are really, really taking off. The next bed, these are the, the Texas sweet, these are the white onions, same deal. You can see this one here, it got snapped clean off. But this new start will come right on and grow just fine. Looking over here at the potato row, these here are the potatoes, or the potato row. You come down about right here, you can see this here, that is. A potato plant that's poked its head through. This here is also a potato plant that's poked its head through. So they are definitely growing and I expect to see more of those in the future coming on up. Our broccoli row is doing pretty good. We did have a few small leaves get snapped off and the wind came this way so it just kind of pushed everything over. The rain was just crazy last night. It washed. At one time when I looked out, the water was probably this deep in this garden. And it was headed all that direction. So we came out here and we're just checking on our, our small plants. Like this kale plant here, you can see it took some damage. It's broke off. It's been washed over top of just dang near so we will just dig it out a little bit give it some room to breathe and same with this one here it's no different the little ones you got to watch out for so they can come on up but it may be just fine even if i didn't do that but i don't feel like it would be beneficial to the plant or us getting a crop off of it if I was just to leave it there and let it die potentially. You look down that row and you can see that it's they have really started growing too. So that's a good sign that they've taken root and they're taking off. So I'm hoping it won't be too long. We'll be getting us a mess of kale to eat. The leaves that get tossed around or turn yellow you can just clip them off these like this one here it just got snapped clean off yeah, that's still good you can just <laughs> you can eat that down too very sweet very good that's how 
how you do it right there. You just set them up, push it down, and that's, uh, that's about it. So we'll catch up with you here shortly. So I thought I'd finish up here on the uh, little strawberry patch we started and show you all some progress. These little things were just about that tall when we put them in. It's been two weeks now, and now they're this tall. And you can look out here, and you can kind of see how the leaves are popping up through that straw. We're getting two, three, four leaves now, and I can see some little buds coming on. So probably July, we might have some strawberries off of these. And uh, that'd be pretty awesome. I like some fresh strawberries. So, uh, it's gonna be pretty good. Got good high hopes for the garden this year. Uh, you all can come find us on Facebook. We got a group on there. Blue Ridge Homestead. We got a Instagram page. Catch us there. And, uh, yeah, just come join the discussion and follow us, like and share our videos. Until next time, this is Lewis and Sally, Blue Ridge Homestead, saying come grow with us.